folytassuk is a gémet. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! This man's already old. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield, hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. De sem választunk. Vagy nem. Jó, még a parton. Hoppá, hoppá. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a 
bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Hmm. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. That, yeah. Right, it might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd I'm like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe <clears throat> we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. You're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. 
Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Že vizet chaosne. No, jeď, jeď vágáš. Hmm, sova. Ťartunk, hoď. Víz. Hola, hola, jez víz. Ja ne povár. Ja ani. Drink up, buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Hey, tell me what me. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. I'm summit. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I know this is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. Mm. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party yeah, like a rock star, though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. <laughs> you would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Infusio, <laughs> David de la Yats, what do you want to me? The gay pen is Chloe is still a punk at heart. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Meet the meet the cars. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were twelve. Most 
Uh -huh. Ah, here's the DVD. Well, I had to. Proponi. DVD. Beh, io ce Dopo lo sto. Ma fammi scendo. Scemi. Te vai tu, Oscar. Io ne ho una scemi. Ne ho una Was ist ohne? Ja, da läuft dunk. believe you fell asleep so fast <laughs> how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant sorry i can see you're not wide awake like me no i'm sorry i crashed so hard were you okay i do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company mm. I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. No. Morphine for girl. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. That's why they call it a sleepover. What did I feel this about? Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. Mm. You look exactly the same. <laughs> It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Wait. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. 
Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get <laughs> through it. Price is always right. Get it? Nice no? You know, I, I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Mitka Victoria. Ще за ябойонг. Ми не сказа ябойонг. Ми не мтам. Що ж нам я рекрем? Дек. Ezeket múltkor írtuk, vagy ez már az alternatíva. Jó kérdés. Az alternatíva gondolom, ja. So, are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? No way. I don't want you to feel weird. My life is just so different than yours. I mean, we can't just bounce out of here and I'll be doped up half the day in pain. So that's cool. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? Well, hot monkey sex would be nice. Mm. <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Not very much to keep Not really. No. There are some cute boys there, but you know me. I'm too damn shy. Which is stupid, because you're so damn cool. Some bro has to be crushing on you. I was supposed to go out with this guy named Warren, but... I don't think he's into me anymore. <laughs> His loss. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. <laughs> Shit. I sound like my dad. That's okay if you sound like William. He really cares about you. Rub it in. I can't ever get mad at the fool. He does so much for me. I haven't done Jack for him. You have. You're here with your family. More like they're here for me. But then so are you. So it's all good. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Let's see him. There's the old Chloe. It is weird having a sleepover with you after all these years. Yeah, but it still feels the same. With me. 
Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Yeah. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but <laughs> it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom yeah, for Chloe. They're so great. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Yeah, that's us. Oh, it was the care. No. I hope you're not jealous of all. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone gutless bastard. I am so glad. Chloe yeah, stole your time. bullshit fund. <laughs> Even if it wasn't another reality. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. Hmm? It's It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. I hope you're not jealous of all my tech toys. I'm blown away, Tony Stark. Mm. Nič fjord da svo, viš mančko je mnogo bevanje. Gaz, mask, možete da bi se vrlo prijatni. Meče nam gaz. No, ja to viske ne prijatni. Popije razmi. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. What's it? It's just what's my eight dollar. Chocolate. No. This should be more than my eight. They're drowning in debt, just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Nu får jag kämpa nu. Ute. Åh. Det var inte ett fall om det. Ett och måste du. Vi vill inte ha sånt. Så vet jag. Let me see. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? All of you, yeah, they call it. Let me see. The kiski. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. No, it's the kiski. Not to meet Mondas. Good morning, Max. Ah, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. They want me... Feel the smoke, yeah. A 
blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Hmm. At least we never had to hide from step douche. <laughs> the same. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. Hmm. But then I see that they're a family again. Who am I to judge? Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomp toys. I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Are you sure? Okay. Toys. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. And then I'm to do shock room. Nick can't go them. To be lent. Shamage. Yeah. Not here, Mash. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look mm. older. I kind of shrink. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my oh, best bam. friend. The bathroom Jump. looks almost the same. Just more medicine. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. You want to talk? We're not crashing. Wonderum. I like to capture them. We're not talking. Shame, Michelle. Some like Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. <laughs> of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. I mean, I mean, Please. Because, yeah. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. I don't need to wait for one of all. I don't wanna. Not that shake. No, I mean, they will not make one Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. 
He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Yeah. Nem is látok bele semmit. Na tessék. Wow, mm. awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Nekünk csak időnk van. Valamit okozzunk, hogy nem lehet. Nem lehet így vége. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. <clears throat> I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Oh, Papa. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Na most itt mi történjem? Passzolok. Ezt ezt nem tehetjük meg. Mi nem tudom. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce. And William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. Right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Mm. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you. But not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Ami történjem. I'm sorry, William. Hmm, ne csináljunk is valami gyorsan. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? 
Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Mindig. Nagyon is. Ez most nem értünk el semmit. Chloe, you're back. Whoa, 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 down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me. I'm just. I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You never see the joke though, folks. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Thank you, everybody. Hmm. I'm gonna make sure you guys get your attention, so we know. Make sure any of that are wrong. So close yet so far away. Hmm. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's an hour. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. <clears throat> Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. 
talking to who? Then be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Mm. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Az a baj, nem emlékszem az előző részekre, hogy e, konkrétan mitől sérült le, a, vagy miért mentünk vissza. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Nem tudom. Na, visszanézem, jövő. Hello, chat. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Yeah. Auto was a auto. Maybe it was a camera. It's TV. There's more to David Manson than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Yeah, isn't that your point? Jó, és akkor megint a izé. Ez most a... Ez nem folytatódna. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time, if there is one. Hmm. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Not quite, no. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Yeah, for you back on them. Either Chloe yeah. stole another gun or David is out there armed. Oh jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. I wonder if David is going to the party. Vége, vége a világnak party, vagy mi? Egy világ vége party. Wow, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? It's nice. No, this is just super fun with me. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. 
Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Alright, let me pull oh. Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I I better move this plank if I want to take the shot. Oh. No, no. Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the oh. nest. I I better move this plank if I want. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Photos, okay. I don't know how many photos I have. Okay. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay Wildlife series. <coughs> no. Let me. I'm not going to show it. Yes, okay. I do all time, huh? I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. Oh meow, Miss Grant. At least he has one weird fan. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Me not the asshole. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Mm, you don't want me to say it, <sighs> Looks like you need a code to open this. Or a way to break in. I know this padlock. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. No, it's pistach. Yeah, I mean, okay. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Yeah, he does it. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to do. I'm going to get my chin. Yeah, so. I'm going to get my chin. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, so yeah. Coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Oh, Papa. Yeah, I don't Any score? Okay. Back to Chloe now. This is so my fault that Joyce kicked David out. Max Caulfield, homewrecker. Yeah, I am. Let me go in the show. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. I 
Nem tudom, hogy ez jó. Ez definitely Kate's floor. A hospital is always freaked me out. I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a... I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when Kate called the other day. I had no idea what shit she was going through. I stopped you from being her friend. But you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Oh, come on, you're back. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Yeah, Max, I, I felt so to lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just... Pray I can get this drawing right. Hmm, this too. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. 
Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh, not nice. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. I wasn't so nice to her this week either, when I took a picture of her covered in paint. Uh, <laughs> not a proud moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's a bitch. I'm sorry, but she's wealthy, pretty, and yes, talented, so there's no reason for her to treat people like shit. Well, there must be. If Victoria could write me such a sincere letter. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Hmm. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Mm, no. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. I'm showing you. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're alright? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. 
You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. No need to go there now. Hmm, there. Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. I miss Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. She is probably high. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change is Mrs. Real. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. Hmm. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? They're like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this huh? is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Mm, no. Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. So why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster and he cares more than you'll know. You're wise, 
But don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Don't mind that. I'm idea. sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Yeah. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As right, Michelle, right, how are you same. doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Because of the Jose Shemmy. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends, especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. I think I'm. I'm sorry. I better get going now. I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max. To hey, Brooke, how are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the driver. My drone is all done. And I can use that bus, man. Nah, don't be jealous. It's not like I don't own all the original Apes films. It's hey, bear. Let me tell you. Let me shut up your bus. Maybe I should have asked Warren to go. No, say, come with your yeah. Chat the show. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. I don't want to go that way. No. I'm going to go to Wait till the day. Okay, where did these rocks come from? This is too Blair Witch for me. I left those up. One photo for posterity. Throw, uh huh. Not a shake. No, I love them. Nem ne a vége, úgyhogy köszöntöm, aki megnézte. Tartsad akkor a következő részre is. Hello, hello, hello.